about uh, six months up in the IGCSE exam. Question is how fiscal policy reduce inflation. So it will be good to show the examiner that we know fiscal policy is comprises of government spending and tax. One method is you reduce the government spending. If G goes up, aggregate demand will reduce. Then demand pool inflation will fall. So this shows that we know one of the causes of inflation is demand pool inflation. If you choose to reduce indirect tax on raw material, cost of production, When cost of production fall, aggregate supply will increase. Then cost push inflation will fall. So we have shown two types of fiscal policy and two causes of inflation. When the question change to other policy, example monetary policy, and other objective like growth, we will go through the same mechanism, which means that you choose money supply as monetary policy, you will see that it goes through investment and aggregate demand. And then there will be more output produced. If monetary policy we choose decrease interest rate, then consumption will rise. Again, more output is produced and growth will occur. This is an example of how when the question is about policy and objective, we go through the same mechanism.